Well, first, who, who are you? And if you'll look into the lens, when you tell me? He's Rick Prellinger. And I'm Howard Besser. No. <laughs> no, that's perfect. I love it. Um, what is the Orphan Film Symposium? The Orphan Film Symposium is, is uh, classically a place where scholars and non-scholars meet to actually talk about film in meaningful ways. Yeah, I mean, it's, a, it's, it's an incredible, dynamic kind of um, um, meeting place. Uh, it's just, you know, the one of a kind, because usually things are either towards scholars or they're towards librarians, archivists, or they're, they're towards filmmakers, and they all come together here, and that's what, that's what makes it so interesting. It's a place where the, the future of film studies kind of gets scoped out, I think, as opposed to other conferences where the past gets described. Yeah. Very nice. What is an orphan film? <laughs> uh, an orphan film is a film without a parent, right? Um, it's a film that is not taken care of by um, a particular, uh, well, in our current society, it's people who own the rights to things, who usually claim ownership over them and claim parentage and try to take care of them. And uh, a lot of things no one claims ownership over. An orphan film is a film without a disapproving, controlling parent that, <laughs> that limits uh, what it can do at night and how far it can get out into the world. An orphan film is a film that could be free if it was only uh, allowed to roam. So we love orphan films. You know, you have to realize that film went into a cul-de-sac in 1915 with the growth of fiction narrative features. Early films were travelogues, science films, actuality. The first film, Workers Leaving the Lumiere Factory, was both an industrial and a, and a home movie in one. And it was only in 1915 when we see the growth of fiction narrative features. Film veers into a cul-de-sac from which it still hasn't recovered. But I think it'll be seen, you know, in, in, in the future, I think it'll be realized that fiction features were an aberration and that that's really not what moving images are all about. In fact, today, from from the um, from the uh, the uh, nanotech moving images, it's it's clear I think that the notion of you know films as um, as process rather than films as as stories films as films as process are taking over. If you look at YouTube, it's 95% process. Water going down the drain. You know my new camera, um, and five you know the, the small remainder narrative. Yeah, to follow up on Rick, you know, I think there's a good chance that a hundred years from now, people looking back, they'll think the feature film period was the aberration. Yeah, or the kind of a little moment of preciousness yeah. that that was neat while it lasted, but it's uh, it'll be specialized.